Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the transit of Jupiter as it transits into the sign of Aries in the sidereal Vedic chart. So remember what I'm talking about is sidereal astrology, not tropical Western. So Jupiter is going to go into Aries. This is going to be April 21st, 2023 and it will remain there till May 1st of 2024. So within that year, your life will change according to where Jupiter is in your chart. Now remember, Jupiter transits through a sign approximately for one year, and therefore Jupiter goes through all 12 signs in 12 years. So if you were to go backwards 12 years ago, you would be able to determine pretty much the likes of what you experienced before will come about again. So go back to the years of May of 2011 through May of 2012. What happened to you then? That's going to give you some indication of what you can expect again because Jupiter will be transiting in the same house for you and in astrology the houses represent the areas of your life and if that didn't give you any clues which I know it did <laughs> 2011 to 12 go back to the 12 year cycle prior to that which would have been June of 1999 till June of 2000 what happened then was it similar you'll see because now we have another Jupiter going through the sign of Aries for April 21st of 2023 through May 1st of 2024 so before I proceed on each sign, I want to remind everyone that, well, first I want you to go to my website, galacticcenter.org to figure out your sidereal signs. So what you want to know is your ascendant sign and your moon sign. The ascendant is what's happening to you. The moon is how you're feeling about it all. Both are very important. So go to my free chart calculator, which is on galacticcenter.org and put in your information, scroll to the very bottom and look where it says AS, that's your ascendant sign which is the rising sign, the ascendant, and look where it says MO, that's your moon sign, and listen to those in this video. So while you're there at my website, please sign up for my free newsletter. You will be getting all of my predictions every week, free of charge. Why wouldn't you do that? It is amazing. And if you want more information, if that really piques your interest, look at my magazine. I have an online magazine that is amazing. A hundred pages of so much entertaining information on spirituality and astrology. That is Joni Petrie's Astrology Insights. You'll find it on galacticcenter.org. And I want to remind everyone, I have a conference coming. This is thrilling and I planned it because of this Jupiter Rahu conjunction that's going to be happening June 1st. So I have a Vedic astrology conference. It is, I am so excited. The speakers, it's stellar. Check it out. It, you can find it on my website. Go to galacticcenter.org and go to the conference. Click on that. Or you can go to the Future of Astrology. It's going to be in Dallas June 2nd through the 5th. And you won't believe who's speaking. You won't believe it. So go there, check it out. It's, you're, you're, it's jaw dropping. <laughs> <laughs> so go to galacticcenter.org and my conference in Dallas, which is the future of astrology, Vedic astrology, Joni Petrie's uh, astrology conference. So love to meet you. Come and see me. Now let's get on and talk about this year. How is it going to be for all 12 signs, depending on your ascendant or your moon sign? So... This is important. And let me just say, if you have an Aries moon or ascendant, this is a new beginning for you. 
it's going to be in the first house. The first house represents you, your physical being, the way you look, the way you appear to the world, your presence, your confidence will be out the roof. You are going to be more confident, more aware, more reassured and physically you're going to take on a whole new appearance because that's what the first house is and the way you respond to the world. And let me just say, Jupiter is all by itself opportunities. The opportunities are going to be coming to you. And while Jupiter is in your first house, it's going to be aspecting the seventh. So it can be a time of new relationships, partnerships, business, or love. And don't forget while Jupiter is there, it's going to be aspecting your fifth and which makes you more creative, the ninth, which makes you lucky. This is your year. If you have Taurus as your rising sign or moon sign, then you've got a lot of things to finish up. Jupiter will be in your 12th house, which means completion, endings, bringing things to conclusions healing from the past. So many things will come up that you will be able to heal and that will make your life so much better. But another thing that people don't realize the 12th house deals with is foreign lands and countries. When people have Jupiter in the 12th house, they usually travel abroad more than any other time. But the 12th house deals with sleep and dreams. You will be rested. You will have meditation, spirituality will really open for you. And all at the same time, there will be a healing because Jupiter's aspecting your sixth house. And also, if you think about it, Jupiter is going to be aspecting so many other houses that will bring you a healing, particularly um, the 12th house is opposite the sixth. And it will also be as aspecting your fourth house, which could mean opportunities for move, relocating. But I do get that it's going to have something more to do with foreign travels and meeting foreigners. And also, I feel like this is the year of major transitions in terms of how you feel about your life. So move forward and embrace the healing that will come for you this year. Now, if your ascendant or your moon sign sits in Gemini, then you're going to be meeting all sorts of new people, new associates, new friends, influential people are going to come into your life and change your world. New friends, being involved in new groups. This is empowering for you. And don't forget, it will be aspecting your fifth house, which will open your heart and make the world a better place for you. So with, with it also being in Gemini, you're going to find your communications. I mean, I'm sorry, with, Ge with your Gemini ascendant, uh, this is going to influence how you communicate with people with it being in the 11th house of groups and friends. But if you have an older sibling, you'll find there's going to be a healing in coming together with them more so. And don't forget while it's in the 11th house, open that heart dating, getting to know people from the heart energy. That's going to be extraordinary and empowering. Okay. So looking at this, I'm also noticing if you have an ascendant or a moon sign in cancer, this is your year for career opportunities. Big time. Go out, go for that new job that you've been dreaming of and you've been wanting. So this is excitement at the highest hilt. Uh, Rahu, Jupiter, and Uranus are transiting your 10th house. Opportunities and changes that are beyond belief with your work and your career. Go for it. It's time to change and go for that new job. And you know what? That could even instigate a move since Jupiter will be influencing your fourth house. This is incredibly empowering for for cancer rising with career, with purpose. This is the year you're going to find the thing that gives your life meaning and purpose. 
Okay, if your ascendant or your moon sign sits in Leo, this is the time for you to take have new classes, uh, learn new things, but most of all, the learning will come through travels. And this is an amazing year for opening your eyes to new spirituality, new ways of thinking, and your philosophies on the world will change. But you will travel extensively while Jupiter is in your ninth house. And because the ninth house deals with higher education, it might be time for you to take those courses, maybe go back to school. If anything, you're gonna be reading and writing and learning new things. But also the ninth house is the father. So there could be a time when you come together with your father if he is still here alive. If he's not, you will have memory, memories of your father. Plus, there may be a connection to your siblings, your brothers and sisters, while Jupiter influences the third house of siblings and travel as well. Travel and learning and coming together with family, father and siblings is what this is about. If you have Leo as your ascendant sign or your moon sign, now, if you have a Virgo ascendant or moon, this is a year of major trans transformations. Things will change on a deep core level. You're going to find so much is going to change because Jupiter and Rahu and Uranus are in your eighth house. And this will definitely bring you money, lots of money, either through other people or through your own doings. But Jupiter in the eighth brings money and unexpected money. I will say this, it'll come in a flash unexpectedly because it's with Jupiter in Rahu. And this will affect and give power to family. Family matters will come together and there may be some losses because do remember K2's been in your second house around the area of family, but this will bring gains financially, could be inheritances. So if your ascendant or your moon sign sits in Libra, this is the year of relationships coming together, marriage if you're not married, meeting people if you're not in a relationship. And if you are married or in a relationship, this can improve and make your relationships heal and get better. And make sure you're not going overboard too much with, with your relationships because remember, this does put K2 in your first house, which means losing yourself over into relationships. But this is a monumental year for meeting someone new, even someone foreign, someone exciting. And if you are in a relationship, this could heal your current issues if there are some, but it represents wonderment and great things happening in the area of relationships. Okay, so if your ascendant or your moon sign is in Scorpio, then this means this is the year of new healing, getting, getting yourself all together health-wise, worrying about what you eat, what you do, you're gonna get healthier, you're gonna get stronger, and you're gonna heal things from the past old issues and things with family, with friends, all of this will be taken care of. And work issues, don't forget, you know, with Jupiter Rahu in the sixth house, the people you work with, they'll probably change and your relationships will get better at work. Or you, if you own your own business, this means this is the year of hiring more people to help everything work out better. And your employees will be so much more attentive and better. This is a great year. And don't forget, it's also a time you can adopt that new pet. It will be exciting. It will be the best pet you've ever had. So if your ascendant or your moon sign sits in Sagittarius, then if you're looking to expand your family or have children, this is the year of getting pregnant, having a child. If you don't want to get pregnant or have a child, be careful. This could be the year that this could be an unexpected surprise. But for the most part, while Jupiter and Rahu are in your fifth house, you're 
your creative skills will be out the roof and you're going to want to do some probably writing or creative or painting anything to do with expanding and expressing yourself plus you're going to find that new people people will change in your life your friends some will leave but a whole new area of friendship will open up with new friends and associates that were probably more in alignment with your spiritual way of thinking so if your ascendant or your moon sign sit in capricorn then this is the year that you'll probably move there's some big changes happening with your home with your residence either rebuilding renovating or there's going to be a big move and your career position in your job could change as well so look at that changes of job relative that could make you move or your moving makes you change your job those will go hand in hand but i gotta say you're probably moving into a bigger place and buying a home or renovating it to the way you like it if your ascendant or your moon sign sits in aquarius then this is the year that you're going to be taking up new studies learning new things your communications are out the roof you have so much to say so much to write everything to do about social media you're writing you're communicating you're getting together with so many people uh, in in the area of what you have to express your creative skills will take off as well and you're going to find that you're going to be traveling probably traveling uh, more by car but definitely you could be going to some foreign places as well taking classes maybe traveling to visit your brothers or sisters and or this could mean because maybe you need to go visit your dad if he's still around so if your ascendant or your moon sign sits in pisces then this is the year of great gains financially you're coming into money you're going to find new ideas on how to make money how to organize your money how the law of attraction is going to attract more wealth prosperity into your life and family will become closer during this time but there is something that you have to let go of from the past there's a ma major and magical change i think coming that will involve family and your ability to make money your wealth and your sense of confidence will step up and you'll find that there's more power in what you have to say your voice becomes clearer and stronger during these days so with that, I've concluded all 12 signs. What you have to look forward to in this next transit of Jupiter while it's in the sign of Aries. So good luck. Look for what is positive in the world. The opportunities Jupiter will provide it depending on what house it's in in your chart. It always does. It's, it's about expansion and growth. So remember, if you want to learn more about Vedic Astrology, check out my university, universityofvedicastrology.com and come visit us in Dallas during the conference in the Dallas conference, Future of Astrology, June 2nd through the 5th. And if you want more info on me, go to my website, galacticcenter.org. Thank you.